it's Saturday morning. It's not quite light out yet, but I've got to run down to the ranch before I can get started with the cows and finish up a few odds and ends on the corral that I haven't got done yet. I have this this thing called a job that you know gets in the way of that important stuff. So we're gonna run down there and finish up a couple loose ends, and then we can get started. Here's a good tip for you if you know you're gonna be slopping around in the mud all day. Just take a can of WD-40 and hose your boots down. So on my loading alleyway, I made this little ramp here to make it easier for the cows to jump up into the trailer. Uh, but I kind of screwed up because I made it too tall. And if I try to back the trailer up to this, it would just barely fit. But as soon as I got a couple cows in there and squatted the trailer down, it would be rubbing. So that's one of the first things I got to do is cut this down a little bit so the trailer fits. <laughs> talked about this in the other video these aren't lining up we got to fix that all right so I've got this I guess you call it a guillotine style butt gate and originally I had the drop pin on this side so that when I was in the tub and I had the cows locked up if I wanted to I could drop the gate but after we used the corral for a little while we realized it was actually would be a lot more beneficial for the person on the catwalk to be able to pull the pin and drop the gate so I'm gonna have to make another hole here for a new pin. How's it going guys welcome to the ranch today we're going to be vaccinating and branding all the cows so because that's a pretty big job i brought my buddy michael here to help me so let's get started but before we get too far into it i want to show you guys the stuff that we're administering to the cow today the first thing is ivermectin which is a pour on um, you just pour it on their back and it soaks through their skin and the point of this stuff is to kill lice uh, it'll kill horn flies and a lot of other kind of biting parasites. The other thing that we're using is Covexin A, commonly known as A-Way. So today you're gonna be seeing me give a lot of injections right in the cow's neck. And if you haven't been around cattle or livestock, you might think that is kind of a weird place to do it, right? But the reason that we do that is because that is what beef quality assurance guidelines tell us to do. And they tell us that because you won't damage any meat or make any food product unsafe to eat by giving the injection in the neck. This diagram explains what I'm saying a little bit better. Notice the subcutaneous zone and the intramuscular zone are both right on the neck. And if you don't know the difference between subcutaneous and intramuscular, well, first of all, you probably shouldn't be the guy giving the shots. But second of all, the difference is, is that intramuscular, like it sounds, is when the needle goes directly into the muscle. Subcutaneous is when the needle goes between the skin and the muscle. But enough about that, let's start working cows.
we got the first load in the trailer, so we'll run them over to the pasture. loads in the trailer we're on the road so we're just gonna go dump them out and then we'll be done day but we are finally done everything went pretty good today nobody got hurt man or animal so that's good um, I just gotta get in here and clean up all my stuff and we can call it a day hey guys I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I see you again on farmer Tyler ranch I'm so tired I'm about to pass out right now we'll see you next time mm -hmm.